Hello there guys, come on, Stan. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Dan and today we're going to be talking about Don Fernando Hierro and his departure from Chivas. Um, obviously this is the first video of my new playlist for the new coming season. And I wasn't intending it for it to be this one. I thought we were going to make some signings and, and sales as well. We'll be talking about that. But obviously this, this is the first major thing that's happened this summer. So I thought I'd talk about it. So obviously it's a massive hit for the club. I think he's done a phenomenal job for us. Um, some people will debate it. Some people will argue that it maybe it wasn't a massive impact or maybe it wasn't due to him. It was more to do with Panovic and Gargo. But I, th I think he brought those two managers in. So I think overall, I think he's been the best thing about Chivas. It's the best signing we've made since Almeida. Um, I think he's transformed the club. I think you know we've made a definite turn towards our youth system and creating our own players and bring them into the first team. Um, you know, obviously he was, he was announced um, that he was leaving about a day or two before Chivas announced it themselves. I think it was announced by the media. Um, uh, obviously he'd received a load of um, offers from Al Nasir in Saudi Arabia. And obviously the last one was too good to be true and too good to be refused. Um, you know, everyone's saying, I think the word was incomparable. Um, it was an incomparable offer. And obviously, for me, that means money. I think um, apparently he was, he's going to be earning four or five times more than he was earning at Chivas. And, you know, he's going there for the money, as everyone does for Saudi Arabia. You can talk about Saudi Arabia until the cows come home. And basically, you only go to Saudi Arabia for the money. Um, and that's what he's done. He's gone to Nal Nasir, who's Cristiano Ronaldo's team. And, um, yeah, good luck to him over there. I think he's going to need it. I don't think he's going to be there for that, that long. I think he's going to be there for a couple of years and then leave. Um, but yeah, I think money wise, I think, you know, I think Amari's getting a lot of stick from it because obviously people say that, you know, Amari should have backed him more, but, but I don't think so. I don't blame Amari for this. I don't think any Mexican club could have competed with Al Nasir. Apparently, you know, they offered him four times. Um, they, they offered to, they offered to get him on the contract four times and he refused and I think on the fifth time uh, they succeeded and that was only because they uh, upped their bid. Um, so I don't think um, Amari can be blamed for this. I think, you know, I think he's, it's on Hierro. He's obviously gone for the money. Um, some people saying that he didn't like the project at Chivas. I don't think that's true. Um, some people saying that, you know, he's corruption in the league and... and and all that. I don't think any of that's true. I think it's literally just down to the money. I think he's just going to be earning loads of money. And why not? He's got a young family. Um, you know, he released a video, I think, a really good video. talking. He talked a lot about, you know, his, his kid was born in Guadalajara. He's got a massive connection uh, with the city and the club. I think, you know, I think he's always going to love Chivas now. And, um, yeah, and obviously he talked a lot about the youth teams as well. How proud he was of the fact that, you know, all the youth teams have won trophies relatively recently. Um, the senior team is the only one really that's not even won a trophy for a while um, or under his tenure. Um, either way, all the youth teams have won trophies and he talked about that and his pride and the fact that he, you know, youth development is a big thing for him. So yeah, I think it was a good video. Obviously, it was a lot of the cliche type of things. You know, he loved the club. It was all about family and belonging and stuff. And it's just like, okay, cool, that's great. That's the kind of stuff you say in the farewell video but obviously if you if you felt belonging and you felt like family and you, the club meant so much to you why did you leave for money um he, he had a really good project to achieve us um he obviously he's brought gargo in and gargo's only been in, in gs for a tournament um he probably gargo probably could have used him this summer and it's worth the beginning of the summer transfer window as well i mean obviously i think it's throwing our transfers in a little bit of a um in the air right now because obviously he was the one dealing with all that stuff. He was the one dealing with the player signings and stuff. So, you know, has he put that on somebody else? Um, we don't even know who's taken over his job yet. There's a couple of guys rumoured from within the club who I like personally. I think one of them is in charge of Tapatio. But I think the other one, I think there's another one that's his, his understudy or something. I forget his name now. I should have looked, but this is a bit of an underspare video. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I hope that somebody from within the club takes over. I don't want anyone outside of the club. I think I want to, I want somebody that's worked with here over the last year and a half. Kind of knew his plans, knew his plans, and kind of been part of the project. I don't want to have somebody brand new come in, otherwise it's going to be brand new. They're going to wipe out all their stuff and stamp their own project on. So um, hopefully we get someone that can continue um, Hierro's kind of 
uh, project and uh, we'll have to wait and see what we do in the summer now uh, because you know we're gonna we, obviously Chucky's not going to cheer us anymore I think Gallardo is out of the question now as well so it's a bit of a question mark of who we're actually bringing in who's leaving as well um, so yeah it's a bit of a, I mean for me the, the timing of it is the worst thing because like I said you know it's right at the beginning of the transfer window the transfer window hasn't opened yet but you know it's kind of throwing everything into chaos now so um, but yeah here is a massive miss um, he's a massive loss for us as a club I think you know his project was succeeding. I think it was only a matter of time before we won the league. We should have won the league already under Paunovic when, um, when we lost to Tigres. Um, but it is what it is. We have to kind of take it on the chin now. It's been a, it's been a, about a week now since it was all announced. I just haven't had a chance to get in front of a camera. So um, I've kind of got gotten used to the idea now. Some people just don't like the fact that he's left and he's a bit of a mercenary and, and they're saying, you know, he obviously didn't love the club that much because he left for money, but... You know, he's only human. He's going to be earning a fortune over there. He's going to be working with Ronaldo and all that lot. So, I think he'll get a lot of experience over there for a couple of years, and then go back to. I think he will end up in Europe. I think uh, here is a, a really good um, um, guy to have at a football club, and I think he will succeed, and I think he will go to a top European club eventually and do really well there. A bit like Edu, kind of reminds me of Edu a little bit. Um, a former good player who's just a phenomenal at his job in the backroom staff. So. Massive loss. Um, I personally, I rate him like hero. Like I've, I've always said, like it's the best thing about Chivas lately, the last year or two, and um, he's gonna be a massive miss. But hopefully, we can continue his project, and and Maori can appoint the right person to take over, and hopefully, we can continue his project, and continue building on the youth because we've definitely taken a turn for youth products and, and you know bringing people so we've got a really class youth system the U16s have re recently won the U18s have recently won U23s have recently won Tapatio recently won so um, we're doing really well we need to start incorporating some of those players maybe we, you know at the expense of signing big players or well, you know I didn't want to be signing Chuki on massive wages if it means Padilla gets thrown out of the club or um, some of the other youngsters that are coming through so um, it is what it is. I'm kind of okay. I've accepted it now. It's been a long, it's been a week, so I have accepted it. Um, um, yeah, and we just move on now. For me, it's like, okay, get somebody else in now. I want it, I want that announcement soon. And then I want to start seeing player departures. There's some players that we need to get sh uh, get, sh get out of the club now. And there's obviously players, we, we need positions. We need a, another striker and, and all of that jazz, so... Um, yes, it is gutting. It's a bit of a hit, um, to be honest with you. But for me, it's all about who we replace him with. I thought Panovic was a massive loss when he left, but Gargo has done an alright job so far. So uh, we got to you know we got to the um, semi finals in his first tournament. So that's no mean feat for a foreigner um, to come into Liga MX and do that. So uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, we'll wait and see what signings we make, and we'll go from here. So. Yeah, not the very not the best start video of the playlist and and the new season for me, but um, you know it's a massive monumental thing and and I wanted to get my opinion on it for me. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a massive miss. Uh, but you know we've got a good project, we've got a good foundation. If we can get somebody, I like I said, I'd rather have somebody that's been working with him for the last couple of years, that knows what he wanted to do, knows what his idea was, and then you just literally take over his idea and and build upon it. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. I don't want anyone new coming in. I think, you know, like everyone new that comes in, especially in the managerial kind of boss position, is just going to sweep out and start their own project. And I don't want us to start from scratch again. Um, and I like Hero's project, so um, good luck to him anyway in Saudi Arabia. Like I said, I don't think he's going to be there for long. I think he's going to be there for a year or two get the money and then go to Europe. But I think he'll end up in Europe. Uh, it's probably Spain, let, let's be real. Um, but yeah, good luck to him over there. Fair play. I'm, I'm cut my own emotional ties to him now. And um, yeah, just focusing now on, on transfers and stuff that we need to get done. Uh, because there's a lot of things that need to happen to achieve us right now, especially the men's senior team. Um, and I personally want to see promotions. Uh, I want to see players in the youth 23s being including in the senior team so um but yeah anyway that's my reaction guys let me know what you think about him leaving and and the replacement and what transfers we're going to make and we'll go from there um but for me yeah gracias fernando i think he did a really good job when he's here um 
phenomenal job actually he did a really good job he, he took us out of the mud and he got us competing again and in Ligia again Ligia is like standard now which is what I was always saying like Ligia getting Ligia has to be the baseline and then we build upon that and um, you know we've been a tough team in Ligia America only just beat us their fluke goal got him into their final and obviously he reached Cruiser Zorn won the league. That could have been easy with us. If we'd gone the flip goal, we probably would have beaten Cruises all too. So anyway guys, take it easy. I'm gonna stop talking now. Um let me know in the comments as well. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Really do appreciate you. And uh, sorry for the late video by the way. It's been a long time, this hectic schedule and I haven't had a chance to get my camera out. So um thanks for waiting and I uh, appreciate you guys watching and like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, leave a comment that I'll reply. We'll have a discussion about this all in the comments. So um, yeah, take it easy guys, thanks very much, and I'll see you guys very soon for hopefully some good transfer news. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Anyway, take it easy guys. Adios.